All right, my name is Paulie. They call me Paulie D. Um, it's actually Paul Del Vecchio. I live in Rhode Island. You chewing gum right now? Yeah, it's no good. Skip, spit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Like I'll get a haircut, then I'll go regular tanning, and then I'll use mine in between, like bridge the tan. <laughs> right, it's the same exact. I could film this yesterday. No, for real. Honestly, I could think you did it today. <laughs> what I'm gonna have to do is, when I'm living with a bunch of people and sharing a bathroom, is I'm gonna have to beat them to it and get to that bathroom first. We need a door on there with a lock. And I do. I beat them into the bathroom and everything. Still. <laughs> gotta have the hair. Um, tons of gel. You gotta be tan, muscles, um, cocky. I feel like your blowout used to be more like defined. Yeah. Like the, like the did you bind them together? I did bind them. Yeah, Good call. I, I noticed that. I did bro. pinch them you together. You literally looked a bit. like a cartoon character back then. Yeah. I mean, you still do. I get my hair cut every Friday at twelve thirty. I have a permanent appointment. He has. He not, hasn't changed a bit. He has not like gone off his track ever. No. He's always steady, right? Yeah. <laughs> At least one of us has to make. You get temped up, they trim the top. I do the top like every other week. I'm gonna, I'm, I like to keep it long. Same. Oh, Nothing yeah. has changed. No. Nothing. Why, it's the why same are you the thing. same person <laughs> 10 I'm years later creature though? Creature of habit. I don't like change. <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, regardless of what I'm doing, I gotta do my hair. Bro, I literally was like, they're not gonna find a Guido with a blowout. I was mm -hmm. like, it's impossible. I'm like, there's no no more Guidos with blowouts. We're an endangered species. I swear to God, I never cried over a girl ever in my life. He still says yeah, the same exact thing now. 10 years later. <laughs> I haven't met a girl yet, so in the, in the meantime, I'm just having fun. I mean, I go out at the clubs, I'm meeting different girls. Every every night, I DJ six nights a week, so pretty much every night to meet a girl. Are you still doing all of this? It's crazy. <laughs> Nothing has changed. My mom says the same thing, so you're not gonna meet a girl at a club. She's like, you need to go to other places, and it'll happen. That's what she says. It's my problem. Yeah, you're still single. <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> Ten years later. I'm in the club too much. <laughs> Through all these girls that I have relations with, I'm not looking for anything but the relations with. If I see a nice girl out, if it happens, they say that you're supposed to know that you find the one when you see her or something like that. That hasn't happened. I'm waiting for that to happen. When it's it almost 40 and still hasn't happened. still waiting. <laughs>